So an accomplishment in high school, I'm especially proud of would have to be being the libero for the varsity volleyball team my last two years of high school. Usually at Ledger, it's your senior year, a senior gets picked to be the libero. So to be at my junior and senior year was just really special to me. I'd worked extremely hard. I played a lot during the off season, but having playing softball and running track and playing basketball, I wasn't really expecting to ever be it, let alone for two years. And just on top of everything else, it was something extremely special to me that I'll hold close to my heart for a long time. I would have to say my teacher, Mr. Van Frasian, he was my history teacher my freshman year, and I had him again my junior year. And he, ha he himself has been through a lot, and it kind of inspired me when I went through my struggle with Crohn's being diagnosed my sophomore year. He just never really showed any of the pain in classroom and stuff. and. It kind of just like inspired me to always keep going to, and it, he showed me how you can really appreciate the high moments in your life when you've also experienced the lows and how to always keep moving on. He was always someone I could talk to and he was just really, really special teacher that inspired me a lot. I would have to say my choir tour has been easily the biggest thing. Um, every year Ledger goes on a choir tour. Last year we went to Nashville, Tennessee, and this year we were going to go to Philadelphia. The Select and Chamber Choir always goes, the two touring ensembles, and I'm part of Select. And I was especially excited because a lot of my family lives in Pennsylvania. It was going to be the first time any of them got to see me sing, and it was going to be a four-day long vacation kind of field trip and I'd worked really hard. I worked hard to raise a lot of money and it was my la last choir tour and I was just so excited for my family to see me sing for the first time so it was really really difficult that they never got to so it was very challenging but we've worked really hard to make a lot of virtual videos and it's made it a lot easier but that was definitely the hardest thing for me. I will just learn that like to cherish really every moment because you never know when like it's going to be your last day but you also never know like when it might be your last day just with your friends or at school like I w wish I could just go in my school and walk down the halls again even if it's like by myself those are things that I didn't necessarily think were that important and now I see they're so vital like just even the smell of a locker room or after a game like they're just such special moments that I think we take for granted when we're in them and it's just a part of life but now like I can really see how even the littlest details make the biggest impact in every single person's life and so I think that's just what I'm definitely going to learn from this and being stuck in one place for such a long time. My future plans is I will be attending Southern Connecticut State University. I am going for nursing so that is my intended major. I'm hopeful that I'll be a pediatric nurse. I really, really love children, and nursing is a passion I've always had. I've done a lot of shadowing, so I'm hoping that I can go to college on time and fulfill my desire to become a nurse.